occurs naturally in the Chesapeake Bay, but every so often a bacteria called Vibrio is capable of causing a deadly infection. Alex Dimitrik met with one man who says he is a lucky to be alive. Summer on the Chesapeake Bay can be a very pleasant experience. Last July, Al Geisler was catching rockfish. This one particular fish poked me in the side of my calf. And it just felt like a little bee sting at the moment. Spines at the tips of rockfish fins aren't toxic, but the one that poked Geisler carried a microscopic bacteria called Vibrio. A few hours later... It's like somebody flipped off a light switch. I got deathly sick that quick. He spent the next five weeks in shock trauma's intensive care unit. As the Vibrio devoured more of his flesh, doctors were forced to cut away more to stop it from spreading. Painful skin grafts came next. Now, a year later... Yeah, I'm pretty much healed up. But, uh, you know, there hasn't been a day since last year since, you know, I haven't experienced pain. This thing, you know, it, it does not go to sleep at night. Vibrio naturally occurs in brackish water like the Chesapeake. In summer, it increases, but it's not known how much is necessary to trigger a general health warning. DNR does post some signs, and its website recommends people with open sores stay out of the water. Use hand sanitizer immediately if they are scraped or cut, and shower after swimming. There are 80,000 Vibrio infections each year in the U.S. and 100 deaths. Al Geisler is sharing his experience to drive home what can happen with a Vibrio infection. I just wanted to make people aware of it, that it can happen. And I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody, but I just want people to be aware of it. Alex Dimitri, WJZ. And the CDC says Vibrio infections can also result from eating raw seafood and shellfish.